I've been testing these two new kinds of sandpapers here from 3M. This is a sanding disc, and this is a roll sandpaper, which is quite different than regular. You can see that it's got a, a shiny backing on it, not an opaque paper. And um, that backing is quite stretchy, which means that the sandpaper conforms to curved shapes quite well. Um, and as you can see here, uh, the claim is quite high. It says it lasts 15 times longer. So that was one of the things I was setting out to test. And uh, I find these papers work quite well. Uh, so I'll show you how I tested them, and uh, you can make up your own mind about whether they make sense for the work that you do. This is a quick glimpse of my shop. Uh, I do woodworking in here mostly, but also work with metal. And uh, this tailgate is my latest project. It comes from my 1990 Ford F-150. It's a great old truck. The paint was failing on it, though, so I stripped it back to bare metal, did a little bit of repairs. Uh, now I'm partway through the final coats of paint. Gave me a really good chance to use these abrasives, especially the discs. Uh, I went through quite a few discs getting off the paint, and it gave me a good sense of how this product works in the real world. Before I get into the details, you might find it interesting to see this stack of discs. I use these binder clips to hold all my sandpapers together, and here we got the 3M Pro Grade with the regular discs that I normally use. These are some of the many discs I ran through the test. These are the regular brand I've been using for years, and uh, some of the 3M ones. I found that the Pro Grade discs lasted roughly twice as long as the regular high-end discs that I normally use. So I'm quite pleased. I'm impressed with, uh, with how long they lasted. One of the things that struck me right away is how much thicker these pro-grade discs are. They're actually thicker than any random orbit standard discs I've ever used. Um, you can see them here close up. That's the, the thicker one. And then the more standard hook and loop type, type discs. So they hold up well. They really don't break up very much even when the going gets tough. Here you can see some regular professional grade sandpaper with the usual paper back um, compared with this flex backed paper, which is quite stretchy. Uh, it's quite a bit thinner too, um, which makes it easier to conform around things besides its flexibility. And when you cut off a piece, you'll also notice that uh, the back is fairly high friction, which means that when you do sand by hand, it doesn't slip out from underneath your fingers. It kind of, uh, like a lot of papers do, it, it grips quite well, and it just makes the whole job easier to do. When it comes to sanding wood, um, the ability to shed sawdust is, is pretty important, and this paper does that really well. Here's the uh, stack of discs. Um, just putting it on the random orbit sander, and going to be going at this beech wood cutting board here. All in all, uh, I think these products are step up and you'll find them to be quite economical to use because they last so much longer.